and welcome to another Fusion 360 tutorial. Uh, this is on advanced sketching tools. So we're going to look at the trim tool, um, the mirror tool, the circular pattern tool, and the rectangular pattern tool. Um, and they're pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so I'm going to go back into a sketch. So I'm in the sketch menu. I've got the sketch menu at the top. There's finish sketch and there's finish sketch down here. And the first thing I'm going to show you is the trim tool, which is a little scissors, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It is allow, allows you to trim parts. Um, one thing is when you create shapes, and you create shapes over shapes, the intersections become points, and then the line, line segments become separated. Okay? So if I click on the trim tool, uh, I can hover over a blue line, and it turns red, and it shows me what would delete. So I can delete parts so that I can have a full, I guess this is a plus sign to extrude, and I can make very interesting shapes as I wish, like this. For example, so um, it's a good idea, so if you want to create, let's say, an arc, and I want rounded edges like this, for some reason, and you want a like you're making a some type of submarine here. Um, uh, something like this. You can go back with the trim tool and you can kind of trim off the pieces. Now you might want this, you might want this to be extruded separately so you can change the color, but just be aware that you can uh, trim away parts that you don't want. Um, and make very interesting shapes. Okay. 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 Um, for example, um, this is kind of like a robot claw that I was making when I was building the robot that I wanted to do, but I couldn't quite do it with the create box and sphere like we did in the other tutorial. So um, I'll show you how I did that. I created a rectangle. I created a circle that kind of overlapped, and then I created another circle that kind of overlapped that, just like this. And then I went back with the trim tool, and I said, I don't need that, I don't need that, I don't need this, 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 this. And that allows that whole claw to be extruded. So if I exit the sketch menu, I click on it, and I did it extrude just like we were with other sketches, I can pull it up and make it a, a body. Okay. So let's look at another uh, tool. All of these shapes have been created with the mirror tool. Um, and what the mirror tool does is it, uh, you create half of a shape on one side of a line and then it mirrors it on the other side of the line. So all of these were created, I just created half of it and then I told it where I wanted the other half to go. So let's try one of those. Let's create a line that we can use as a um, for the mirror. So that's the line. Press escape when you're done with your, with your tool. So I've got a line here. So I'm just going to create on one side of it. And I can create literally anything I want. So I'm going to put a circle here and a circle here. I'm going to put some a rectangle to combine these two pieces. And I'm going to finish it off with some, some lines. And I do need, don't need to come up to the line. I could actually just create, I'll actually show you. I, could, I can also create something over here doesn't have to be on the line. But all of this stuff on this side of this mirror line will be mirrored over here into this area. So I'm going to go back with the trim tool. I don't like this. I don't know what that was. Um, but I'm going to trim up some of this. I don't want that. Don't want that. Zoom in if you need to get a little closer. Maybe not that, 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 that. Interesting. Okay, I guess I can delete all that. Okay, so there is my uh, shape. 
I clear up that. So then I can go into create, and it's down here on the bottom. Oh, it's also up here. So it's the mirror tool. I'm going to click that. And it says, what objects do you want to mirror? So I can just start clicking on all the lines that I want. There is a what you can highlight, but you have to have space to do it. Okay, I think I got. I think I got all of them. They're all highlighted blue, right? So I say, okay, mirror line, click on that, and click on the mirror, and you have a, a mirror image. So anything symmetrical, or if you wanted to create like wings on a plane, or a rocket ship, or just a cool pattern, then this would be a good one to work with. I hit OK, and now they're extrudable. Okay, I'll extrude them a little bit later. So there's a, some type of tree, here's another type of rocket ship. All right, so what's the next um, tool? It's called the circular pattern tool. And instead of a line that it's making symmetry on, like in these ones, um, it's using a point that you set. And then you draw one thing and then you pattern them around and you can choose how many um, objects you want to pattern. So let's come up here. The first thing you need to do is go into create and you need a point to work with. So sometimes you'll have a point already, but um, other times you'll need to set a point. So I'm going to create um, pattern. I'm going to create an object, just something for fun. Like that. Something like this. Okay, I've combined them all. I'm going to trim off the parts I don't want. Boom, boom. So that's just one flat object. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Then you go into create, and right under mirror is the word uh, circular pattern. So I'm going to click that, and again, come over to the dialog box that says what objects. I'm going to highlight all that, and then it says what is the center point? So that would be your point. And it defaults to three. So there's one, two, three being patterned. But I can start clicking this and go up. Let's just say seven. OK, when I click OK, they're all um, patterned in that circular. Okay, And these are all extrudable. Or you can extrude back and cut into a body. Let me just see if I can control click. Extrude, and let's just go up one centimeter, and there you go. So, uh, cool way to put decorations on onto um, onto your products, or to create a cool uh, mosaic or circular pattern of some kind. Um, the next thing, uh, the next one is the rectangular tool, and it's it's very similar to the pa circle pattern tool. Um, so let me jump in there. And these were all created with the rectangular. I just drew one, and then I created uh, a pattern to the right, or in one direction, like the x direction. And you also can pull down and create the pattern in the uh, y direction as well. In this case, this uh, fence, I just drew one of them. And then I said I wanted seven or eight of them, and I pulled them out. So let's see what that looks like. Let's just create a quick one. Um, let's create a little house. Let's trim it. Okay. And then create rectangular pattern. I'm going to highlight my whole thing. And inst instantly two uh, handle arrows pop up, one in one direction. If you pull out, it's already set to three. That can be increased to four, five, as many as you want. And pull them out and it'll keep them evenly patterned um, and then when you pull up uh, or down it evenly patterns them in that direction too and it switches to three so you just click on the arrow you want I don't know if you even want them in two directions but you just change the number okay and then you press enter and uh, for any time you need a repeating pattern or you just need to copy another one of something you have and those are all also Extrudable. The, um, I'm going to try to extrude. 
this, clicking and holding, hit the extreme button, 